Hi. Since this site is called Full Power Yoga, I figured it was probably time to show you some yoga moves. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do a yogic breath. Um, we breathe mostly with our chest up through our clavicle, which uses less than 50% of our lung capacity. Um, breathing, although you do it automatically, is something that you could probably learn better like anything else. Um, and it's the main way that our body gets rid of toxins. So if you don't have air for a few minutes, you die. If you don't have water, you can live for a few days. No food, you can live for actually a while over a month. So it's breathing deeply can actually get more toxins out of your body than, say, eating an organic strawberry flown in from China, um, juicing through plastic straws. Your breath is really the number one tool. And if you breathe deeply and you relieve toxins and you get them out of your body, you can have better skin, more longevity, more energy. You can sleep better at night. There's quite a bit of cool shit you can do. So yogic breath is the number one thing. Um, I'm going to show you that today. It's pretty simple and it's a great one to do if you're stressed out or if you have gas or if you just need a moment to yourself or before bed or first thing in the morning. I mean, it works all the time. And then when I'm done showing you yogic breath, I'm going to show you a really cool way to see your third eye because it wouldn't be cool breath if you couldn't do some kind of psychedelic thing with it, right? Okay, so it's a three-part breath. You start by inhaling into your stomach, really blowing up like you're pregnant, like you have a beach ball inside. Then you inhale into your chest and then finish with your clavicle. And when you exhale, it might feel natural to start at the top and exhale down, but actually if you can exhale from your stomach in, then your chest and then your clavicle, you'll get more out of it. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to doing it the other way, but if you exhale top down, you actually push down more of the shit in your body, spiritually and physically, and emotionally of course, rather than letting it out. And what's the point if we're not going to let it out, right? So here we go. So first part, breathe in for a count of three, really expand your belly. So then a count of three into your chest. Feel yourself expanding this way through your ribs, and then one, two, in your clavicle up here. And then as you exhale, deflate in your belly, deflate in your chest, deflate in your clavicle. So, inhale, two, three, chest, two, three, clavicle, two, exhale, stomach, two, three, chest, two, three, clavicle, one, two. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, you can put your hands on your belly to feel the inhalation and exhalation there. You want to feel inhaling like a beach ball, really stick it out. Exhaling, pull your belly button into your spine and deflate completely. For your mid-chest breathing, you can put your hands onto your ribs or even touch your middle fingers at where your ribs meet here. And as you breathe, you don't want to go up, you want to go out. So you really want to feel your chest open here. And a good way to do that is to mentally think that the breath is coming through the back. And then in your clavicle, really feel the opening here, the chest opening. And now here's the cool hippie trick. So first take three cleansing breaths. 
So inhale deeply and exhale all your air. Inhale deeply. Really force it all out. Now three yogic breaths. Second one. Last time. And then take your hands, thumbs in your ears, index fingers on your eyes, middle fingers in your nose, other fingers on your chin. Inhale deeply and hold. Now focus on your third eye. Hold your breath. And exhale, release your fingers. If you did it right, you should have seen something right here. Maybe it was patterns, maybe it was movement. Either way, it's a pretty cool thing to do before bed if you want to do some lucid dreaming, or if you just want to sleep a little better, or if you just like tripping out on breath. Try not to do it too many times in a row, though. Thanks for watching.